Bison are back. Seven months after winning another national championship, the North Dakota State football team opened fall camp this morning. Valley News Live Source reporter Jack Wallace was at practice this morning and brings us more. Well, thanks, Stefan. Nothing says the start of fall camp like a blistering hot August day. And that's exactly what we got here today as fall camp starts up for the NDSU Bison. Now, the starting quarterback of last year's national championship squad, Cam Miller, well, there's no position battle for his spot this year. It's all his for the taking, and we spoke with head coach Matt Entz about what that means to have a starting quarterback come back and take over the team to get ready for the season. Part of the game is, is you know, the space between the ears is sometimes the most valuable. Uh, the difference between great and, and good is, is the distance between your ears, in our opinion. And so uh, I think knowing that our staff, our players have the utmost trust in him, uh, I'm, I'm sure it's allowed him to uh, expand his leadership role. Playing and getting actual game reps helps you become confident enough to be a leader. You know, when you're a backup, it's really hard to tell a starter what to do, you know. And um, I think having experience and winning a national championship, having that underneath my belt, um, you know, especially with these young guys who have just came on campus, I think they really look up to me and they're, you know, they're watching every single step that I'm doing. And after winning their ninth national title last season just a few months ago, they're already looking ahead for number 10. And we spoke with the rest of the team trying to think about what is the hunger and what has them still driven to be able to get that next title. I mean, that's what I think makes this program great uh, for consistency and for how many years that, you know, we've been and we're always in, in the mix some some way or shape or form is just because we're consistent and we do what we do. We stick to the culture, to the tradition, the standard. It doesn't change for a, a coach that comes in or a different player that comes in. It stays the same and, you know, that, there's no different. And we're, we won one and that we put that away. We celebrate that night and then we're, we've been working on another one. And now just under a month away from the start of the season, we'll be back in the packed Fargo Dome on September 3rd. That'll be with the Bison against the Drake Bulldogs to start off what could be another national championship season. With the Bison, Jack Wallace, Valley News Live Sports. The quest for that 10th title starts in just under a month for the first Bison football game at the Fargo Dome. For now, though, fall camp rolls on. We'll have more from the Bison camp through this fall. The FM Redhawks wrapping up their home series against Sioux City tonight. A quiet first inning saw the Explorers up one zip. The Redhawk defense completes this nice double play to wrap up the first two outs of the frame. Keeping it in the inning, Danny Amaral slips this hit past the left field gap, drives in Chase Harris around third and into home to double that X's lead. It's now 2-0 for Sioux City. Moving to the bottom of the third, Redhawks with a man on second and no outs. Pitcher Zach Hedges throws back to second for the tag, but Nate Samson can't grab the errant pass. Off to third, Sam Dexter scampers. Fargo Moore had the golden opportunity for a run. Men on the corners with one out. Drew Warden his first game in almost a month. This one goes straight to the shortstop, the throw to second, and then to first for the double play. Now, this one's not looking promising, but the Hawks did rally for an 8-3 win. Five runs in the fifth inning there. They stay at home for their next series. They host Lincoln tomorrow. We had to come back at some point. We had to come back to the station. <laughs> it was nice point. of them to wait till you're gone to get all.